Hello and welcome from the sidelines of the ICR conference here in Orlando. I'm Jared Banks, editor at large of IPO Edge, CorpGov, and Exec Edge. Join me is Vikas Rathi, the CFO of Dine, which is a visual effects company that has won multiple Oscars. Vikas, welcome to the program. Thank you so much, uh, Jared. Uh, I'm glad you have us here. Great. So we did write an article about you. We, we were very familiar. Uh, but tell us about the, the recent Netflix deal and how that's helping the business. Uh, Netflix is a great client of ours. You know, we signed a deal with them for about $350 million minimum guarantee. You know, they are looking to conquer the world. We're happy to help them do that. Um, you know, it's, uh, it's been a great, great partnership. They're looking for the best in breed and we are the best in breed and happy to help them, you know, create things like uh, Antigalactic, the Stranger Things uh, series, you know, lots of movies and stuff that's coming through in the frankly, Great opportunity, great partnership, and kudos to them. Fantastic. Now, the Stranger Things one in particular has been massive. It's been everywhere. Uh, you've also got some more projects coming through the pipeline, uh, as well as a new studio in, in Australia. And you're going to be working on an upcoming uh, George Miller prequel called Furiosa. Tell us about that. Very excited about that. We work with everybody. You know, this is, I we just oops, launched our Australian studio. We're going to have about 500 people in there in the next year or so. Uh, doing Furiosa, very, very happy with that. The Australian government picked us, given the biggest grant ever in the history to kind of bring us on there. Great opportunity is working with, you know, George Miller, the Warner Brothers as a, as a big client of ours and just opening up the Eastern Hemisphere, frankly. You know, I think it's going to be a, it's going to be a great opportunity and I'd be really, really excited about that. It's not just Furiosa, we've got Netflix, we've got Disney, other people looking for, uh, for us to do work in Australia for them. And it's just going to be an amazing opportunity over the next, just, just, just hang on to it. I think in the next 12 months, there's a lot more projects to announce in Australia. All right, fantastic. Now, if my math is correct, you have a total of seven Oscars so far yeah. as a company. How are you gearing up for the upcoming uh, awards here? We got seven and we got six of the last eight. So, you know, what challenge always is, you know, how do we, how do we step up and do the next thing? Uh, looking for the award season, more, more than award season, I think, happy to be working with our clients across the theatrical and the streaming side to make sure their opportunities get realized and we help them get to uh, get to, get to their customers. This is a huge opportunity for not just us, but for our customers to be able to reach the global audience and uh, happy to have the privilege to work with them and bring, you know, their dreams to life. And uh, you're going to hear a lot more from us for the next 12 months. Um, we have The Last of Us that's coming out. Knives Out just came out. Just exciting times. Okay, and it's not just Hollywood. You also had a massive hit in Bollywood with Brahmastra. What can you tell us about that? You know, superheroes, mythological figures and stuff like that. We've got a billion and a half people in India. It's a very religious country. They love their superheroes, which are more, I would say, related to mythology. Um, that's been a great experiment for us, working along with Fox and Disney. And uh, it's a trilogy. We did the first one, had massive success there are two more coming after that and i would tell you there's a lot more coming out of india and a billion and a half people that you have there yeah. at some point in time i think china will open up as well for, right. the global, for the global you know media customers and i think we'll be there and happy and prepared to make sure our customers realize the opportunities they have india is huge this is the first of it i think there's, there's more coming out for that. excellent now uh, as the cfo what can you tell us about the numbers from last year and what can we look forward to in 2023? Well, we got, we, we performed really well last year. We are the most profitable company in our industry. Uh, we got the highest margins. We did about 400 million bucks of revenue last year, 100 bucks of EBITDA. This year is gonna be more than $500 million on the revenue side, 120 to 140 in EBITDA. And frankly, this is just the start. Okay. There's a huge opportunity going forward. We, we continue to grow 20, 25% year on year on year. And this is beyond, I mean, without even talking about gaming and the metaverse and all that. Happy and willing and able to help our customers realize their opportunities in terms of reaching out to the customers on a global basis on their entertainment requirements. What is it about 
DNEG that you're able to offer that, that other visual effects companies aren't able to? How are you able to win those, those deals? You know what? I, I frankly think a visual effects um, needs to just get a bigger piece of the pie that we have already. I think we help, uh, help create um, opportunities for our customers, which are bigger than what we actually deserve right now. I want the whole industry to grow as much as possible. Our customers do a, our customers do a great job. Our competitors do a great job. I think uh, we just fight a little harder. That makes sense. Now you have offices in Mumbai, London, and Los Angeles. Any, as well as Sydney, of course. Uh, so any other areas that we should know about? I think we're growing globally. You know, I think you know I would really want to be able to be. We are big in Canada. We are big now going to Australia. We are in Asia. I think the next frontier is is Africa. Okay. I think there's there's creativity everywhere. And I think from our perspective, and not just commercial success, I think we want to make sure there's uh, talent across the world. And I think the next real barrier, the next year of frontier is going to be Africa. So look forward to that, hoping uh, to open up doors for the talent that's available over there and just be a very global company across the board. Right. Now, uh, from a personal standpoint, I was very impressed with the work you guys did on Dune. What can we look forward to in 2023? What are you super excited about? Wow, that's a good one. I think in every project we do, our customer says, go and do something we have not seen before. <laughs> so I think in every project we come out with, you're gonna see something new. Uh, there's the next Dune movie coming. There is, uh, we're working on Star Wars going forward. There's stuff for, um, you know, uh, the next, uh, we will see Oppenheimer coming out for Christopher Nolan. That's going to be an interesting project that we're going to see. Um, it's just fun every day. For a finance guy like me, uh, it's amazing what the guys do. And the fact that they actually do that and make money at the same time, good luck. Keep going. All right. Well, thank you very much for your time. This has been Vikas Rathi, the CFO of DNEG. I'm Jared Banks, signing off from the ICR conference. Thanks.